We are getting a look tonight at the aftermath of a fire that destroyed a popular surfboard maker's workshop. Albert Elliott dug through the rubble today after losing his livelihood to the flames. News 8's Richard Allen is live in OB with more on the cleanup and the help Elliott is receiving from the community. Richard. And Carlo and Barbara Lee, it has been a rough couple days since a fire that might have been started by a faulty electric bike charger gutted the backyard workshop of Ace Elliott, an icon here in Ocean Beach for the unique surfboards he has made for decades. And as the cleanup continues here, the community is also stepping up to show their love and appreciation for Ace. Yeah, that's a surfboard down there. Albert Elliott, best known as Ace here in Ocean Beach, comes through the charred remains of his backyard workshop. Those are a couple of the main tools of the trade right there. Destroyed by a fierce fire Tuesday afternoon. I had all my pictures in here. I had the boards in here. I had this is sort of the, the hangout. For decades, Ace had been a master at building and repairing surfboards. And while mostly retired now, he had a lifetime of memories in that shed, along with special shaping tools and dozens of boards. That's my daughter's board. Among them, an irreplaceable gift for his daughter. Made a real special board for her 30th birthday. She's going to come pick it up. And as Ace goes through the rubble, salvaging whatever he can. Oh, oh, oh God, that would be a miracle and a half. He's also getting help from the community. I've been kind of overwhelmed by some of the things that have happened. He's kind of the unofficial mayor of OB. Friend and OB resident Tim Townsley, who has worked as a surfboard glasser for Ace, is assisting hands-on with the aftermath of the fire. He's also organizing a more large-scale community cleanup for Ace this weekend. Bring some gloves, wear some boots, maybe a mask. Oh, oh. And while Ace is grateful for all that did survive, including his Amazon parrot Bob and his other pets, as well as his home, he's also grateful for the love this community has shown. That says a lot about somebody when they actually show up and dig in and start getting dirty. You know, I've, I've been blessed in my life to have, I've had friends like that. Now that community cleanup is planned for this Saturday at 11 a.m. here on Froud Street near Cape May. Also, a GoFundMe has been set up to raise money to help replace some of what was lost in this fire. For more information on that, just go to the CWSanDiego.com and click on the hot button. Carlo. Thank you, Richard.